One of the issues that I'd have had with patients who present with chronic UTI is that they've often had multiple short courses of antibiotics that have resulted in either side effects or allergic reactions, and thus they're hesitant to take any antibiotics as a long-term option. Can you tell us how you deal with patients who have chronic UTI who are reluctant or unable to take antibiotics? Yes, that, that problem most often uh, crops up when people have been cycled through various antibiotics and put on combinations of um, broad spectrum agents. And uh, our approach really is to insist on a simplification, a dramatic simplification, so that in, in all circumstances, we will try strive to manage the patient using first generation narrow spectrum urinary antibiotics. Now, because they're narrow spectrum, they tend to be associated with fewer side effects generally. And we will explain to the patients that um, an awful lot of ground will be achieved by pulling back from the powerful antibiotics and letting the system settle down. And that invariably we find that they can start tolerating again. And uh, we, we, we will lead them in gently. I, I tend to warn them, this is going to take time. And the first step is to unpick all the troubles caused by all the broad spectrum work. And then uh, by a process of trial and error, find a much gentler uh, regime that can be tolerated and then build it up. Now, nowadays we will frequently initiate this by trying to avoid introducing the antibiotics early. And so we'll start off with Hiprex if we can, methenamine if we can. That, that uh, starting with methenamine is often precluded because it causes dysuria and painful micturition. So if that's not the case, we can't do it. And, and then we, we, we'll try and work with our triumvirate of uh, cephalexin or trimethoprin or nitrovent here, but introduce it in a low dose, gradually building up. And um, I can say that it's extraordinarily rare for us to find a patient who we can't uh, establish a regime for. Uh, we have a, a small number of patients who just can't handle any antibiotics for all sorts of reasons. Um, all sorts of different reasons, really. And those we, 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 we are able to manage with Hiprex on its own, with the warning that it's going to take a, a, a lot longer than if we were using an antibiotic regime. So I, it really the history, what we've learned over the years is that the history of term, turmoil does not mean that that's going to be a fixed story for the rest of the person's time. I think that, that a, a great deal of, of can be achieved by allowing the, the normal mutualist microbes to establish themselves in the environment. And, you know, those have co-evolved with us and are, are likely to be unassociated with the difficult side effects. Mm -hmm.